So here's the thing. I really wanted to like the show. I did. Marvel has been knocking it out of the park with their other Netflix shows, and with Iron Fist being the last brick in their road to the Defenders, there's no way I wasn't going to watch this show. Also, while I was never the biggest fan of Iron Fist from the comics, he's got a cool character design and a pretty straightforward backstory. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Ah, oh, man. I'm Gary Mitchell, and despite being a lifelong comic fan, I'm here to tell you five things about Marvel's Iron Fist that just bug the crap out of me. Before we get started, I'm working hard to grow this channel, so if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and send the link to a few friends. Okay, so let's start with the elephant in the room. Problem number one with Iron Fist is that it's boring. I'm all for a show taking its time to build its story, but I was just plain bored watching this show. Not much of anything happened for the first few episodes, and just when you think things are about to pick up, they don't. These days, if your show can't hook an audience with the first couple of episodes, you're doing it wrong. Way too much time is spent at Danny's company, either watching his business partners or watching Danny fail at being a businessman and fail at being the Iron Fist. Which leads to issue number two. The main character is lame. I'm sure Finn Jones is a perfectly good actor, but he's not engaging or compelling in this show at all. Danny Rand himself also comes off as kind of a moron. Watching him stumble around like a child, manipulated and lied to by everyone in his own show was downright painful. Also, maybe I'm still stuck on Finn Jones' portrayal as the Knight of Flowers from Game of Thrones, but I'm just not buying him as some powerhouse kung fu fighter. Colleen Wing was way more interesting to watch. I kept wishing it was her show the whole time. At least until her and Danny hook up in the obligatory hero romance and she starts acting like the cliched girlfriend character. Speaking of cliché, the third thing that's wrong with Iron Fist is that you've seen all of this before. Stop me if you've heard this one. Rich, successful, white American male leaves his world behind due to a violent tragedy, ending up in a distant land where he learns and acquires mysterious abilities, before returning home again to use his new power to right the wrongs in his life as a superhero. Jeez, ugh, where have I heard this before? Uh, let me think. Everything about this show is derivative of something you've seen done before and done way better. Everything you think is gonna happen, happens. Even with the fights in the show, they're trying to spoof or reference iconic scenes from martial arts movies, and some of it works, but some of it just doesn't. Which brings me to maybe the show's greatest sin of all. The action is underwhelming. Even if your story, your pacing, and your lead character are all weak, you can still get away with a decent show if you've got really cool fight scenes, right? But most of the action here is actually kind of dull. There's actually a short fight sequence literally within the first five minutes of the first episode. And I remember thinking, gee, that was kind of pointless. Now, to be fair, it's not all bad. And there are a few battles, especially later on, that are pretty cool. But like I said earlier, Jones just isn't believable as a fighter. Guys, bottom line, Iron Fist is easily the worst of the Netflix Marvel shows. I'm forced to give Iron Fist the lowest score of anything that I've reviewed so far. We knew that Marvel's near perfect record couldn't last forever, but this- Wait, wait, Gary, wait! You only gave us four things about Iron Fist you didn't like. You said in your title you had five! Oh, right! Thanks for the reminder, Loki. About that? Uh, well, I might be getting on a soapbox here, but- just hear me out. There's been a lot of talk in the media lately about whitewashing. When Hollywood casts Caucasian actors and actresses in roles that traditionally belong to other ethnicities. The most recent examples are in the Doctor Strange movie, when the Ancient One, Doctor Strange's mentor, who was an Asian male in the original comics, was cast as Tilda Swinton. We've also got an upcoming movie based on the legendary Japanese anime Ghost in the Shell, a character, story, and mythology root in Japanese culture starring Scarlett Johansson. And while I'm sure there are perfectly good reasons for those casting decisions, in both cases, fans and non-fans have gotten pretty upset about it. See, it's bad enough there aren't enough prominent roles in Hollywood for Asian actors to begin with. But when even those roles are then taken from those actors, that's kinda... I feel like when we take stories that are derived from and rooted in East Asian culture, mythology, and martial arts, and then put non-Asians front and center in those roles, we're basically turning Asian people into background characters in their own stuff. Which is kind of like saying, hey guys, we really like your culture and your art and your everything. We just don't 
want you in the middle of it. So along comes an Iron Fist, another wealthy, successful American white guy who travels to another country to learn, master, and somehow surpass the people that have been nurturing and maintaining these traditions for centuries so that he can then take that power back to corporate America and be a superhero with it. We've seen that before, and me personally, I've seen that enough. Now, I fully know and recognize that Danny Rand, Iron Fist, is a Caucasian male from the comics, and they're just following the source material. Fine. But wouldn't it have been cool if Marvel had taken a creative risk and said, you know what? Everything about this character is set squarely in Asian mythology. Let's break from the source material and actually make him an Asian actor. I personally think that Marvel missed an opportunity to add some more diversity to their Defender lineup. But hey, it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what you think. So if you loved Iron Fist and think I'm crazy, let me know that in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you check out my channel for more reviews, music videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Gary Mitchell, and we'll see you next time. Stay cool, stay blessed, stay in touch.